I'm here to tell you about our standing wheelchair that we have for you in the CLE. Our model is called the Quickie 700 Up. There are plenty of other models out there, um, but I'm going to show you about the features of the one that we have here. This is a chest prompt that provides additional support to the chest and trunk if somebody should need this as we're standing, but I'm going to remove this for purposes of this demonstration. The benefits of this are that you can stand and participate in a conversation better. You can um, distribute your weight off of your backside by tilting um, to distribute pressure. You can elevate your legs, for example, if you had lower extremity swelling. Um, you can recline if you just want to stretch out your hip angle. You can bring this up into a standing position to improve weight bearing to your lower extremities, improve intestinal motility. You can, in a standing position, move throughout your environment if you're reaching into cabinets. You can also elevate the seat without coming to a standing position, um, which is available in other models, even some wheelchairs that don't have that standing feature, but you can elevate, for example, if you want to stock or put things up into a higher shelf, which is really nice. So I'm going to get in it and demonstrate the features. This wheelchair is more of a standard size so that more people can get into this wheelchair and trial it when they come and tour the CLE. But in general, when you get a wheelchair like this, it would be tailored to your specific size and needs. So different features would be added or removed based on what your needs are. First, I'm going to put on the lap belt. It needs to be pretty snug in that seated position because when you stand, it actually loosens up. And then the chest strap. There are lateral prompts as well in this wheelchair. Normally this would be kind of tied up against your chest. Um, again, this is more of a basic um, one size fits all so that everybody can try it while they're here. Okay. First feature I'm gonna show you is the tilt feature. With this tilt feature, you're the entire wheelchair kind of tilts back, so the hip angle isn't changed. So this is helpful for somebody who might have limited hip range of motion, but wants to reduce the pressure of their sitting surfaces. And you can do this multiple times throughout the day, several times an hour, and they can do it more independently than requiring someone to help them adjust in their chair. Each of these different positions can be preset so that it's tailored to somebody's preference or um, within their range limitation. So some people might prefer tilting back further, some people might not be able to tolerate that, so it can have an automatic stop based on the individual's preference and comfort. Next feature is a recline feature. With this feature, the seat stays static, but that back reclines back, which opens up your hip angle. There's no limits um, on the range in this chair, so it does become a little bit hard to reach the control, um, but generally speaking, you would stop at your comfort level or you could have a pre-established stop built in to the settings. 
The next one is a recline feature and the legs elevate to the point where you can become fully supine or lying down on your back as if you were in a dentist chair. The different positions throughout this chair, the features are really nice so that you're not in that same 90-90 seated position all day long. You can stay in the same chair, however, change how you are positioned, which is really nice. If you also notice that it's a slow change or transition between positions, which is very helpful to reduce injury, you can stop at any time. You can also establish a setting where you just hit the button and it goes through the whole range once you establish that preset endpoint, which is helpful to minimize injury and risk as well. The lower extremity elevate feature is really wonderful, especially if you have edema in your lower extremities to help return that fluid back to the body and reduce that edema. And that supine position is very comfortable. The next feature I'm going to show you is the lift feature. In this setting, you stay in a seated position. However, the actual wheelchair seat raises up. The amount of elevation that occurs varies from model to model, um, but generally runs between 4 um, and 10 inches that it can elevate. Before we get to the standing feature, I wanted to comment on the two different control um, ways. One is a, just a joystick. You can scroll through the different position options through this joystick. The other one has actual buttons on it and it has different positions. So for example, you can hit the tilt button and it'll take you through the tilt motion. You don't actually have to change every profile and mode on the joystick. There are different speed profiles. Generally speaking, when you're seated, you're gonna go faster than when you're trying to drive in a standing position. Um, but that can also be set or tailored to the individual based on their safety needs. This can also connect to Bluetooth, so you're able to then control or scroll through Bluetooth compatible devices using your joystick, which is really nice. I've seen people be able to use an iPad and scroll through the iPad using a joystick. Or open an automatic door using the joystick once you have it connected. Now I'm going to show you the standing feature. Again, different accessories can be obtained based on the individual's needs. But if you notice, I do have a block at my lower extremities, which helps to support the lower extremities. I do have a lap belt, which as you go from a seated position to a standing position loosens up, so you'll need to retighten that and then a chest support chest belt here, which again should be retightened. The benefits of having the standing is that you can engage in a conversation eye to eye with somebody who is also standing, as opposed to being in a seated position, talking to somebody who is in a standing position. That different level can sometimes um, be a little bit difficult to keep that conversation rolling. 
Um, you can also, if you're preparing a meal or brushing your teeth, you can be over a sink or um, at counter height and work on cutting up vegetables and then maybe move over to the, the sink to wash your hands and then go and grab something out of the refrigerator or the freezer, which is not always at wheelchair level, so you're able to do all of that. From here, I'm going to show you how you can drive in the standing position. It goes in reverse much slower than it goes forward. But hopefully you can see how getting into the standing 